Hello, personal finance class. Quick video today. Uh, we're going to be reviewing math concept number one for chapter 10. We're going to be talking about calculating the total interest paid over the life of the loan. So this is mathematically pretty simple, but let's talk about the concept. Uh, we're going to be looking specifically at a mortgage. All right. So the example we're going to look at here is a $150,000 loan over a 30 month time period. So the way we're going to do it in this one is it's going to be, you're going to be told um, exactly what your payments are and exactly what the length of the loan is. So all we have to do is multiply the number of monthly payments times the number of months to get the total amount we're going to pay uh, and then subtract out um, the principal. And that's going to give us the interest that we pay because with any loan that you pay back, you're paying two things. And what are those again? Yes, anything that you borrow, you have to pay back both principal, which is the amount you originally borrowed, you have to pay that back, plus the interest, which again, um, you can think of as what? You can think of that as rent that you're paying on the money that you borrow. Um, so let's go ahead and dig into the math. So I'm going to open up Google Sheets. And what's the first thing you're going to do? Yeah, you're going to label these bad boys. So this one's just going to be our example. You don't have to do this one, but it's going to show you how to do them. I, of course, want to see them numbered. So numbers one, two, three, etc. cetera, uh, when you get there. So the example we're looking at here is a 30-year loan. And this is all going to be the example that's in the text portion of the math assignment that I'm going to put on Classroom. So the terms of it are, it's a 30 year loan and the total payments on that are just given in this case. So $1,100 and 65 cents. These are your monthly payments. You know what, let me go ahead and make this bigger so it's easy for you guys to see. So you got your 30 year loan, $1,100 and 65 cents of your monthly payments. And you originally borrowed $150,000. So that is going to be your principal. So um, you have monthly payments into 30 year loan. So you need to convert your years into months. So that's simply going to be your months, sorry, your years times 12. So there you go. And now all we have to do is take our monthly payments. So equals, again, you have to use formulas. I want to see cell references for these as always. So it's going to be equals your $1,100.65. $1 Multiply that. Equals that times 360 months, that's going to give you the total amount you're going to pay over that life of the loan in principal plus interest. But in the problem, it's asking us to just calculate how much interest we're going to pay. So what do we need to subtract out of this total? That's right, we need to back out the interest. So that's going to be equals our total amount paid minus our principal. So you'll see this is a significant amount of money. I'll go ahead and format this so it looks a little easier to read. So you borrowed $150,000 and you're going to pay back in total almost $400,000. So the terms there here are an 8% loan. So no one really gets 8% nowadays. Right now it's, it's between like 3 and 4%, uh, maybe around 4% now. But 
the total interest you're going to pay over 30 years is about $250,000. Now, this is pretty accurate. You know, over a 30-year loan, you're going to pay for that house you know, more than twice. So it's pretty staggering what you pay uh, because of that long, um, that long lifespan of the loan. So what are we going to call this? This is total interest paid. All right, so that's how you're going to do these. So go through the word problems only, one through five, um, and then submit that on Classroom. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will talk to you soon.